welcome back to the G Live. So today I'm going to be showing you my daily makeup routine. It's very simple. There isn't a lot of products, but it makes me look put together. And it's just something I do on a daily basis so I don't look like I just got out of bed all day. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first things I do is I moisturize my face, which I already did. I wash my face and moisturize. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a lip balm on. This is just the Nivea lip balm. I actually really like it because it sinks in. It sinks into my um, lips really fast, and I don't have like a lot of like gloss. And then I'm gonna use this Benefit Professional, and this I'm gonna use as a primer, mostly all over my face, um, like right there. And I just use a little bit, just because I don't need a lot of coverage on a daily basis. I don't use a lot of products on my face um, on an everyday basis. And then for an eyeshadow primer, which I normally don't use this because I don't wear eyeshadow on a daily basis because I don't always have time to put it on. I'm going to use this Urban Decay um, Primer Potion, I think it's called. Try to link as much of the things I can down below um, if I can find them for you guys. Alright, and then for my eyebrows, I use this um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and I use the color Dark Brown. Um, I don't really fill in my eyebrows because... Not that they're thick, but I don't think they need too much to make them look okay. Hmm. And again, I don't do too much because it's just a daily thing, you know, just to make me put look a little bit more put together. Eyeshadow. I'm not really gonna do any eyeshadow. I normally don't have time to use to use an eyeshadow. If I was using like an eyeshadow palette, I would use this one, which is my Naked Urban Decay. I think this is a Naked one. But since I'm not doing eyeshadow today, I'm just gonna set my eyelids with this. This is the L'Oreal True Match, and this is in color W5. I use this on my eyelids, and then I also use this all over my face. I recently like I've had it for a long time, and then I stopped using it. I think because I got something else. And then I recently started using it again, and oh my god, I'm loving it. I'm loving it for basically every foundation. I love it for the foundation I'm going to use today. And then I also use it for an Urban Decay Locket foundation. And that's a really thick foundation. It's like really full coverage, but I like to set all of my foundation. And I've been, I've been using this, and I love it. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look like it's like too much makeup. It looks good, and that's why I like it. And then for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in the color Dulce de Leche. Um, I was using the white powder too, but I broke it, so I'm not using that anymore. So I'm just using the brown one as kind of like a crease color just to make it look like I have at least something going on in there. So as my foundation, I'm going to use the Urban Decay One and Done, and this is in the shade Medium. I love this. I've been using this for a couple of months now. And I absolutely love it. I usually just use two pumps and it's really light and it does has FPF of 20. So that's really nice. I mean, obviously you need more, but that's a good start. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, I've been loving it so much, especially because on a daily basis, I don't need too much coverage. And, um, you know, it's just for me running around with Michael, you know, going to the grocery store, going to the park or whatever. And it just looks, you know, nice, but it doesn't look like you have too much going on. but it's enough for me and then it's a concealer I'm gonna use this elf concealer this is in the shade light so it looks like I think this is probably just like two or three dollars and then I just use like some underneath my eyelids and I spread it down I do like to get an, around my nose just because I get a lot of redness there and if I was taking more time with my makeup I would also like add some concealer here and on the rim of my nose and probably down here on my chin but I don't need that today, so I'm just going to do this. My eyes and also all over my face, I'm going to use that L'Oreal True Match, Match again. And again, that's in the color W5. But basically 
basically is just the bronzer. I'm going to use, again, that um, Wet n Wild palette and go to the Leche, and I'm just using the brown shade. You guys see that? That's the reason why I have to hurry to do my makeup, because he doesn't have a lot of patience. Hang on, baby. Mama's almost done. probably didn't see any change at all <laughs> and then as my blush it just depends on what I'm wearing that day to be honest but today I'm gonna use this Too Faced love blush in baby love and this is the color it's super pretty it's like a super neutral color and I love it So that's basically all I do to my face and then I go ahead and use the setting spray before I use any of the other like wet ingredients, wet ingredients, wet products. So this is what I'm using. I'm using this NYX setting spray. This is the matte finish. I like to mostly use everything matte because I get very oily really fast. So. And then after I spray that, I go ahead and use my beauty blender and I just tap everything in just so that the powder and the liquid mix in together. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like it works. <laughs> so moving on to my eyebrows, I'm gonna set my eyebrows with this Benefit 24 hour brow setter. And this is just like a clear gel that you can use on your brows. It's kind of like glue or like hairspray on your eyebrows. I don't really think you need like a, like a high end one, but I like this one. I really have never used anything else. But the next time I buy one, I'll probably just buy one like at Target because, I mean, I feel like they probably all work like this. Okay, and moving on to my eyelashes, I'm just going to curl my lashes. I was just using this Ulta Legendary Length Mascara. Um, this is in the color Jet Black. So moving on for my lips, which is the very last thing, I discovered these new lip liners from Revlon Color Stay, and I really like these. They're so soft and creamy. I own a couple of them, and I've been loving basically all of them. And this is in the color Nude. a bold color like on a daily routine it makes you look like you have more makeup on so it makes you look a little bit more put together but I like my neutrals so I always think that and then I'm using an NYC color crayon and this is in the color Riverside Rose and it's just a really cute like mauve color I really like it and it's super comfortable too plus it smells like candy I love it so basically this is what my makeup looks like once I'm all done it's not too much but it's just enough for a daily basis and yeah it usually takes me about maybe like 10 minutes again you know I have a toddler running around so I can't take too much time doing this and again I didn't do my eyeshadow but you can't even tell because I wear glasses so you can't even tell so yeah this is what it looks like I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did I hope you guys give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in the next one bye everyone mm -hmm.